Rolling a short put option is done when you have sold a put option and you like to extend the time in the trade. In order to do that, you buy to close an option that you have sold short and sell to open a new option in the same company or ETF. This is generally done simultaneously as one order. Here you see an example of a short put option that we rolled in Tyson Foods, ticker symbol TSN. You see in the blue box that we bought to close the January 15th $65 short put option. That cost us a little bit over 88 cents per share. As you can see in the red box, at the same time we sold to open the February 19th, that same strike price of $65 put option and received $3.08 per share. We felt comfortable rolling the same strike price out or sideways for another month because as you can see here on the daily chart of Tyson, the stock was pretty much at the exact same price that it was at the previous month when we initially sold the January $65 put option. This roll trade put $2.20 net per share into our pocket. If you annualize the return that we received by rolling out this put option, that annualized non-leveraged cash on cash return will be 35%. If you're curious, the return on the margin requirement of $2,490 for this position is actually a 276% annualized return on margin. So as you can see, just like selling put options, rolling short put options can be very profitable. But what if a short put option position has gone against you and the short put option you sold is now in the money? When is it the best time to roll a short put option down in strike price? Here you see a trade we did in 3M. On October 14th, we rolled the October short put that we had sold at the $165 strike price down and out to December and $106 strike put option. As you can see in the red box, we bought to close the October 18th $165 short put option back and that cost us $4.48 per share. We simultaneously sold the December 20th $160 put option and received $6.73 per share. Notice that we were able to roll our short strike price down by $5 because we went out two months. Also, since we went out two months, on top of rolling the short strike price down $5, we we're able to collect a credit of $2.25 per share. Now, why do we feel the need to roll this short put option 3M down? Notice here on the daily chart that 3M had been making lower highs and lower lows. It was in a clear downtrend on the daily chart. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I always like to look at multiple time frames when I'm analyzing a position in a trade. Here you see on the left, a copy of that same daily chart in 3M, which shows that it was indeed in a downtrend on the daily chart. If you look over at the chart on the right, the weekly chart, you see another reason why I wanted to roll my short $165 strike price put option down. 3M was also in an overall downtrend in the weekly chart. Then to make 3M's outlook even a little more negative, if you look at the bottom of the weekly chart in the yellow box, the down weeks in the red bars had a lot higher volume than the up weeks in the green bars. All these factors and indicators put together helped me decide that I wanted to roll that short put strike price down. I like 3M as a company, so I actually wouldn't have minded if the stock had been put into my account. Obviously, I prefer to keep playing the option game by rolling options, but if 3M had been put into my account, I would have just started selling call options against it as well as collecting the dividend that 3M pays. But going back to our situation, at that point, I believe that 3M might continue to head down, so I wanted to roll our short 165 put option down just in case 3M continued to decline. And we were able to do that by going out two months in time while still putting $2.25 per share into our pocket. If a stock has moved against you and you believe that the decline will continue, if you don't want the stock assigned to you, then it'd be best to try and roll the short put option down in strike price. If I feel negatively about a stock's price movement, I will go farther out in time than just one month to roll that strike price down. But what if the stock has moved so far against you that even when you go out in time, you still can't roll that strike price down for a credit or even a break even? The answer is that at that point, it's decision time for you. If a stock moves against me in such a big way that I can't roll the put option out or down for a sufficient return, then I'll let the stock be assigned to me. Then if it's a dividend paying stock, I'll begin collecting the dividend and at the same time begin selling covered call options against the stock to keep that cash flow machine producing cash. If you'd like to receive live alerts of our trades as soon as we make them, check out the benefits of becoming a patron at the link in the description below. We take a lot of the hard work out of finding option trading opportunities as well as provide information on why we entered those trades. If you'd like more details on how I go about rolling put options, including how I go about rolling put options that have gone deep in the money on me, Check out the video in the link above in the description below entitled How to Roll Over Put Options. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.